I have one brother and five sisters. I'm number three on the list. Toby's the oldest, and Monica, then me, then Marcella, then Kelly, Celestine is her name, then Robert, and then Eldoro. My daddy was pretty strict. Well, I didn't think he was bad, so, but now I look back, and uh, I probably still got straps on my back from, <laughs> he'd go down the barn and take a hitchy strap, and it would whip the hell out of us. No, I shouldn't say that. Whip the hell out of us. Well, they can't do nothing to him now. And you grew up on a farm with all them? Yeah, yeah. And what was that like growing up as a kid? A lot of hard work? I, well, I don't know. We, we didn't realize it was hard work. We, we just sat there, whatever came along, you did, you know. Did you get to see <laughs> the Great Depression? I went through it all. That was all in the 30s, yeah. Everybody was in it. Okay. So you really didn't know, I mean, uh, just because somebody could have a new pair of slacks or a new shirt, you thought that was really good. Mm -hmm. And uh, otherwise, it wasn't much. Uh, I don't know, people would work for nothing, come around on the farm, and uh, just said they got their boarding room and a place to sleep. Oh, we didn't get like dress jail in the 40s. Really, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a big thing when yeah. They got that. We used to have the lantern, and it had a wire go off one end of the barn to the other, heavy, just wire. And it was, had a little s snap on there. It put two lanterns on there and go to milk the cows. As you milk the cows, you move the lantern down, you know. Didn't have any, any cooling for the, for the milk and stuff, so you always, when you get done milk, you put the milk cans in the, in the stock tank and for to cool it, you know, and stuff. Well, the boys went out to school. Some of them did, from town. But none of the farm boys, I don't know if any of them stayed uh, and went to school. Because yeah. school wasn't that important. I think if you could r r write your own name, that was, that was about it, you know. They would, they would hire these uh, th guy with uh, threshers. They were hired Fire, fire people to work, yep. and uh, I think we were trying to get uh, Bob's uh, dad's place, and I was out there in the field. We had my bottle team, and was out there, and she come hiking out in the field, and and she helped me uh, load the bundles and stuff. She got in, in the hay rack and stuff. I don't know what we did, but uh, and then when we came back, we that was that. Uh, she came to the dance where I was at, at the service station. They danced with and I thought, well, she was going with somebody else, uh -oh, did, a different guy. But I, had, I had her along before I dated her, but I knew she was with this guy and, you know, I didn't want to bother her because I thought that would be stealing. And, you know, <laughs> because I had no car, I had, didn't have any money, so you couldn't date very much without any money. Then I, I think she quit, she quit going with him, so I don't know if I found it out or what, but then we went out and... Uh, we lived happily ever after. Yeah. Why'd she pick you? I, I was irresistible, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> God, she was beautiful. Uh -huh. Joe Fiki called. So I went out there that, that weekend and saw Joe and, and uh, he, uh, he said, gave me a proposition because he said, the kids said I always wanted to be a farmer. So uh, he wanted to know how much I would take. I told him, I said, no, I won't work for that. I'll work for $150 a month and 50% commission on any, everything I make over $5,000. That was gross. And he just told Barney, who was a cop up with a banker, he said, I don't think I'm interested in that. Well, Barney said, well, Joe, he's working for you for less than you offered him. Oh, okay, he said. So that's, that's what it was. I got a, a, anything over $5,000. That was that gross income. And uh, so that was very much. They could make that much in a, in a month now on the farm, you know. But Mom was afraid to go because she said, she thought I'd get out there with my, my group of guys and be partying a lot. But, Why, yeah. Why'd she say that? I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't know, Jerry. <laughs> yeah. 
That's the way I was, I guess. Yeah. Well, see, Joe, Joe had a big family, too. And uh, I was always afraid that one of them would take over the farm. Because as they got married, they married farm girls, but then the boys would always go to the girls' parents' farm. So then they were all married, or when Franny got married the last time, then uh, I was able to buy it. Oh yeah, 48,000. In 1967, he, he built a new house. Ben was out there, and he was sticking, I don't know, something through the wall, you know? And Ben said, it doesn't pay to repair this house, you know? So then Elaine, Joe said, you know, we should make plans. Well, Elaine said, I got plans, and she brought the papers all out, and, and he built it just the way she wanted it. Well, Mom never worked. She never worked. We got married in July. Oh, yeah, and then she got pregnant right away. And uh, so she worked, I think, probably a couple months. But she had to quit because she was, uh, and then she was preg pregnant for 17 years then. Jeez, yeah. To, yeah. Why so many kids? We didn't know what was causing it. <laughs> What'd you like best about farming? That's all I knew, Jerry. That's all I knew. And I, I think I was a good farmer. It was a good place to raise kids, to tell you that. And we had good neighbors, too. Yeah. yeah. Ambrose, the one. How about dislikes? What'd you dislike about farming, if anything? I don't think anything. I was really? I was a happy farmer. Yeah. I liked to milk cows. We had good cows. Well, they got to be good cows because I joined the HIA, and uh, that's the Dairy Herd Improvement Association. And one guy comes out a month and weighs all your milk from morning and night, and they take it in and test it and stuff. And you know, your good cows are bad cows, so then you start culling. If you raise enough young stock, calves, which we, I raised all, all my heifers ever sold a heifer calf, and then you could cull out the poor producing cows too, you know. So then I wound up with pretty good herd of cattle. In fact, I think I was one of the top ones, me and Francis Schomer were the top ones in McLeod County. Everything had its place. You get up in the morning, milk the cows, and then, well, when we got the bigger tractors, I really enjoyed that. I never worried that much about anything. Everything just sort of fell in place for me. So whether I was lucky, you call her lucky, good wife. I forget all the bad things, Jerry. I just remember the good things. <laughs> <laughs>